At Healthy Schools Campaign, we believe that healthy children are better learners. I would define a healthy school as a place where students are looked at holistically, where all of their basic needs are met. That means serving nutritious, healthy, and delicious school meals. That means engaging students in physical activity and safe places to play. That means providing comprehensive school-based health services, including mental and behavioral health services, and providing students engagement with outdoors and nature. I work primarily with the Space to Grow program as part of our community engagement process for the community design of our Space to Grow schoolyards. All of our schoolyards throughout the city, they're all gonna be completely different because they're gonna be designed by the school communities in which they're housed in. Far too often we see our communities renovated and we know that it's just like the spearhead of like gentrification. We know that something is being built and it's not for us. But to be able to like go to a community and be like, no, we're building this thing and I want you to tell me what it's gonna look like. I want you to tell me how you wanna use it so that we can do that thing for you. Schools are in need of funding and resources to better provide health and mental health services to keep students in school, to make sure that schools have an environment that students want to be a part of. And so Healthy Schools Campaign coordinates the resources and best practices so that schools are able to access mental health services, hire more counselors, and coordinate health services to make sure that students are best set up for success. When we're talking about a healthy environment in a school system, it's important that we pay attention to the things that are unseen as well. So there's gonna be a lot of things that can trigger some chronic health issues in students. For example, asthma. So if you're talking about the chemicals that are being used to clean a building, the air quality due to the ventilation system, all of this is gonna be having an effect on students. So it's important that we look at all of these things when we're deciding what is a healthy environment. As an advocacy organization, we champion the stakeholders making changes in their schools. I've seen a lot of growth in the parents as we've engaged with them through our parent leadership training. We've had other parents that were able to take more leadership roles in joining the parent action councils or joining their LSCs um, and making those real changes inside the school because they felt empowered to do so. The credit is definitely due to them because they had the, the thirst, the knowledge, and the passion to engage in this way, and I think we just kind of give them the tools to unlock what was already inside of them. As a national advocacy organization, Healthy Schools Campaign has grounded our work here in Chicago where we can be on the ground, hands-on, learning from teachers and parents and principals about the needs, and we have used that learning to help advocate at the state and federal levels. Healthy Schools Campaign lifts up a model of what a healthy school could be and provides the resources, tools, and supports to help school districts and schools implement those healthy environments. This should be common. This should be the norm. This should be the way that we do things. Because when we're talking about providing for the students, we want to make sure that if we're truly like investing in our communities, we have to be investing in our students. Thank you.